What is going on everyone? In today's video, I went out and had one of the best redfish days I've had in a very long time while fishing with live greenbacks on a shallow grass flat. But before we get into the video, we gotta start the day before when I went out with my buddy JC from JC Fishing after we had just filmed a podcast. And if you wanna check out my brand new podcast, I have a link to that down in the description. Well, let's get back into today's video. So after we filmed the podcast, we just wanted to go fishing for about two hours. So we went out, loaded up on some live bait underneath the local bridge and just set out to see what we could catch. And in about two hours, JC got a slam, but I was only able to catch one redfish. We ended the day with a lot of extra bait. So instead of getting rid of it, I threw it in a bait pen to save it for the next day. And that's where this video is really gonna start up. So even though I started the morning with some bait in the bait pen, I wanna see if I can get some fresh bait. So. Bait in the bait pen will be good for our live chum, and then the fresh baits will just be a little more lively for being on a hook and everything. And as you can see, I'm set up here at a bridge, same spot we went yesterday to get the bait in the first place. Let's see if we can get some uh, fresh ones, and I see them. We're in about 16 feet of water right here, and we're marking bait starting about eight feet all the way down to the bottom. So I'm gonna throw a little chum, get them to come up a little bit shallower, and get them really fired up and schooled up and then throw them down on them. So as you can see, the current's ripping in now to drop in balls of this dry chum right here. Just pick it up at any local tackle shop and then mix it with a little water. Drop it in the water and really attracts the, the fish. I know they're under there, but this just helps get them kind of schooled up right behind the boat. Okay, I literally see the bait now. Move back a little bit closer and I see them down there. That thing. Feels heavy. Oh yeah, I got him. Oh yeah. That's what I'm looking for. So I used the ones in that live well that were in the bait pen as live chum. And then the fresh bait as the ones I put on the hook. Tide's starting to come up a little bit more, so I'm gonna go back to kind of targeting some uh, oyster bars. At the higher part of the tides, should be some reds and snook this time of year hanging out around them. Taking a green bag, one of circle hook, 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. Get it up there by that, uh, Oh, that oyster bar. He got eaten. He's swimming at me. What is this? Snook? I think it is a snook. Little guy. He got eaten and then he was just swimming at me so it was hard for me to get the hook in him. All right, first bait over there, a little snook. Come on over here. That did not take long. A little male. Hey, dude. There we go. Get that hook out of you. There you go, hook's out. Pretty fish. Uh, good sign that it was first bait in there and within seconds it got eaten. So get a quick release on him. See you, dude. And let's see if we can get a bigger one. There's a big trout right there. Oh, God. I think those were reds. Here they come. Fish right, oh, they're right here. Oh, right on it, right on it. 
swirled on it. I don't know if he got it. What? seems to bolt after it. I think he ate. Yep, got him. Got that one. There we go. I'm gonna loosen up on him a little bit. Oh, he's not that big. Okay, but there was a school of reds over here. And a bigger one chased it before. Didn't commit, but the smaller one did. So that's a good sign. Let me get him in. I mean, he's not bad. He's probably right at like keeper size, right at like 18. Well, there were some that were upper 20s over slots over there. Okay, come on over here. Come on over here. Come on. Come on. I'm putting up a fight here at the end. Yeah, he's a little bit bigger than I thought, actually. Come here. Right there. That's a solid fish. Probably getting close to about 20 inches. Right there on the live greenback. I'd sight fish that guy. That's really cool. When the weather and everything permits it, I love going sight fishing. Get a quick release on this guy right there. That's a beautiful redfish. Seated. There's one right here. There's one right here. He just ate a bait right there. He's chasing it, he's chasing it. He might have eaten it. Oh, nope. There's one chasing baits right here. Oh, there was a snook over there. Big snook just blew up on, I'm assuming, one of the live chummers I threw out. I'm gonna move a little bit, just kind of get readjusted. Want to see if I can get kind of positioned right here on this point where that suck was blowing up and see if I can get a good snook or I'm assuming there's probably reds over there too. I think they're all just kind of moving along this shoreline here at the higher part of the tide. Okay, here we go. See if that gets anything fired up over here besides the birds. Got one. Got something. I think it's a red. I just felt the the pop on the line. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, is he not bad? Oh, I don't think he's that bad. Okay. Okay, let's play him. Oh yeah, that might be the biggest one today so far. Okay. There we go. Just on a live greenback up there. Right by this point, I was thinking the higher part of the tide, they're gonna push right up along the shore. Come on. Okay, how big are you? <laughs> I can't do anything with this fish right now. I'm like, thankfully there's not too much for him to wrap me up on out here, but. Oh yeah, that's a solid one. Come on over here. Come on, dude. This is fun. I wasn't able to like sight fish that one, but uh, it's just cool. Let's see how clear the water is. Thankfully, the water really cleaned up. Um, when the red tide kind of pushed through, the water's back to being good and the fish are biting right now. Come on over here. Might want to get this cup bait like right up along the mangroves. 
Keep it low so it goes under my cup bait line. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good fish. Hey, dude. Come on over here. I'm gonna loosen this because my Yeti's empty. If anything takes it, I want it to just be able to go. Come on over here. Come on up. Yeah, that's a solid one. That's an upper slot. That might be over slot, actually. Right there. Oh yeah, that's probably an over slot redfish on a live greenback. There we go right there. That's definitely the biggest redfish of the day. I'm assuming he's right at probably the upper slot, probably like 28, 29 inches. A live greenback right up here at the mangrove shoreline. So I'm gonna get my cut bait right along the mangroves and I'm gonna keep live chumming. See if we can get more of these fish and maybe even one bigger. That would be sick. Go ahead and get a release on this one. Yeah, that's a solid redfish right there. Oh, he's already kicking good. Okay, good. See you, dude. That's a solid fish right there. Yes, I love coming out here and just having a day where you can get greenbacks or just any live bait that easily and the fish want to actually cooperate. It just is such a fun day. See a fish. Red right there. E ate it? Yep, just ate it. Right there. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, I just sight fished that guy. That was sick. There's another one with him. Dude, this is a good one, I'm pretty sure. He hasn't really taken off or anything yet. There we go. Oh, he came up and inhaled that greenback right on the surface. And there was a second one with him, apparently. I saw him take off after this dude came up and ate. He's right here. My fish is over there, but there's another red right here. I think I got the bigger one. Ha ha. Love when that happens. Okay. Dude, that's another good one. This is another good red right here. I just saw him right there by the, the oyster bar and just pitched that green back. Re or I reeled it up to him. I had a pretty far cast and I reeled it up to him and he saw it and took off after it and smoked it right on the surface. I watched the whole thing. Come on over there. Yep, this is fun. Cannot deny that this is a blast. Come on over here. freaking smoke that greenback. That's so cool. Come on over here, dude. That time I had the greenback nose hooked. Pretty much all day I've been doing um, belly hooks, but that time nose hook and I was able to reel it back. Um, when you have a nose hooked, it was just kind of swimming and dropped it right in front of him and he wanted it. It's another good one. This one might be bigger than the other one actually. The other one fought harder, but I think this one's got a little bit of size on him. Come on over here, whenever you're ready. That's a real long one. Oh. So the line broke, but I got him. <laughs> I was holding on to his tail. My hook's right there in the corner of his mouth. Must have been frayed or something. Get that hook out. Once I felt that line pop, I was not letting go of his tail. That's a long one. I'm gonna get a measurement on that guy. I'm curious. 
I'm going 30 on them. Whoa! Nose right there. He is right at 30 inches. There we go right there. I think that's the longest one today. This one was right at 30 inches. The only one I got a full measurement on, but he, I sight fished this guy completely. Saw him just in there on the oyster bar, pitched the green back to him and he smoked it. That was awesome. So beautiful fish, let's get a release on him. Thirty inch rip. Whoa! Okay, see you, dude. There he goes. See him swimming away right there. That was sick. Grab another bait right here. I'm gonna try his nose hooking him again. I'm gonna get some live chum out there too. Oh my God. There's a red right there. <gasps> got one, got another one. I literally casted that and then saw a swirl. I didn't even feel the bite. I think that's the one I just saw. Oh my god, that's so sick. I literally casted it over there and saw a swirl. Didn't feel the bite at all. Okay, okay. How big are you gonna be? Saw the swirl and I was just like, I think I probably got eight. And I reeled down and sure enough, there's one on. This guy's a fighter. Come on over here. The redfish are chewing right now. This isn't really YouTube drag. I mean, you see my rod and how bent this is right now. This dude is just bullying me. Okay, okay. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. I mean, what am I supposed to do here? I don't think I've ever had a redfish just kind of bully me that bad. How big is this one? I mean, he's definitely an overslot, but I don't think he was that, that much bigger than the other ones I got. Making me do laps around my boat. I'm gaining on him now. a good one definitely a good one this dude fought so much harder than the one I just caught and I don't think he's I mean he's big I don't think he's like nearly as big as the 30 hey dude I don't know he's got a big head on him Come on over here. Around the corner of the mouth. Perfect hook. Okay. There we go. That's another solid redfish right there. That is sick. We cast it over by the oyster bar and saw a swirl. I'm like, oh, I just get eaten. Get a measurement on this guy while I'm at it. This guy fought so hard oh he's a little bit bigger actually he's 31 or 30 and a half he's close to 31 the new biggest redfish of the day i've now caught the biggest of the day three times in a row this one was 30 and a half inches so <laughs> fought so much harder than the 30. this one absolutely bullied me that was a lot of fun let's get a release on this guy a 30 and a half inch red whoa and he's ready to go see you dude this is sick. This is just so much fun.
Oh, there we go. Got him. Little red, I think. That was just a blind cast up there. Right where I threw all the chum. Is this a red or is this a trout? Dude, that's a big trout. That's my slam right there if I can get my hands on him. That's a big trout. That is a big trout. Come on over here. He can drag. Come on. That's a fat trout. Probably been eating my my chummers all day. Come on over here. Yeah, it's a real big trout. Oh, what my hand? Right there. That is a big, fat, healthy trout. I'm gonna wet my bunk board right quick. Let's see what this fish is at. There, 22 inches. It's like 22 and a quarter. But that is a extremely healthy trout. I'm just gonna get around the water. Trout are pretty sensitive. See you, dude. Go lay some eggs or fertilize eggs, whatever you are. I don't, I don't know what you are, but that was awesome. already getting chased. He already got eaten. He already got eaten. I got a red. I also got my line, I think. There we go. Beat this through. Just like that <laughs> got another red this is crazy uh, i literally cast it up there and it lasted a couple seconds this one ain't the size of the other ones but he ain't bad either come on over here Stop making me do laps around my boat. Oh, uh, maybe you ain't that bad at all. Come on up here. Dude, these redfish are so strong. They are just bullying me right now. Look how fat and healthy that fish is. Probably like 26 inches. That is such a healthy redfish. Such a good sight to see after the little red tide scare that we had. Another beautiful redfish right there. Get a release on him. Oh, see you, dude. Jesus. All right, let's try here. Live chum out first. That's a big swirl. Okay, there's a big swirl right in front of me. Got him. Got something right there. Okay, move spots. Feels like a red. Move spots and picking up a red here near sunset. 
little guy. That's definitely not the swirl I saw before, or what made the swirl, I mean. Cute little guy. Get a hook out of you. Get a quick release on you. See, dude, didn't mean to yeet you like that. My bad, dude. There's some fish, apparently. Oh, there we go. Got another one. Got another one. Feels like another little guy though. It is. Whoa. Probably a bunch of these little rat reds up there. Come on over here. Right in the corner of the mouth. Get that hook out. Give them a little bit more of a gentle release. See you, dude. Come on. That was fast. That was so fast. There's so many little reds right here. Come on over here. This guy's a little bit bigger. Uh, about the same size. He ate that so fast. His tail, incredibly blue. Oh, see you, dude. Smaller setup, my 2500. Have a little fun with these guys. Hopefully we get a bigger one, but seems like there's just a lot of these little guys right here right now. You serious? Oh, he spit it. This is crazy. Oh, it rehooked itself. That's why. On a dead one. It was just laying there. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this one ain't bad. This one ain't bad. This is on a dead one. You guys are seeing how fast this is. I'm not even going to have to edit. But this is definitely the best one at this spot so far. We'll loosen up a tiny bit on him. How big are you? Oh yeah. Probably getting close to 20. This is crazy. biggest one at this spot so far probably 19 20 inches around there we've got them of all sizes here today there we go hey 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 okay see you dude beauty and grace wrapped up into one package right there <laughs> they're blowing up on the surface right there it was a red too. You could clearly see a red just came up and tried to hit one of the baits I was around. Wow. And this will not take long. I'm on. He spit it. Let it sit right there. Freaking out. I'm on. <laughs> this is wild. These aren't big ones, but man, this is cool. Cute little guy. See ya. Dude. 
Let's see how long it takes me to catch a redfish on this greenback right here. Just free lining them over here by an oyster bar at high tide. <laughs> Sun's going down. These redfish are fired up right now. That fast. <laughs> it is that fast right now. Come on over here. It's a little guy. The majority of them are little guys, but getting a couple like low 20s. It's just instant right now, it's so cool. <laughs> there we go. Get the hook out of him, get a quick release on him. Little redfish right there. See you, dude.